Hi, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here. Hi, my name is Lexi. Today we're going to be watching Season 1, Episode 2 of Vinland Saga titled Sword. In the last video, or last episode, we saw Thor's basically being a badass and right off the gate. He's a really cool father, really cool warrior, amazing husband, leader, everything you can think of. In the last video, I mentioned that he's very similar to Game of Thrones' Ned Stark. We also see his son Thorfinn, who I believe is the person that we're going to follow in this story based off of the opening. He also has an older sister, Ilva. There's also Leif Erikson, who's just like kind of a goofy guy who was trying to impress a bunch of kids with some maybe some tall tales about his journeys and everything. And then we also saw, I can't remember his name, but the slave owner from the other side of the village. I'm sure we'll see him again causing trouble for uh, the main characters that we have and his slave who escaped from him. He had a chain around his neck. He, he showed up thankfully on Thor's front door who does not condone slavery. And so he was able to revive him just enough time to hopefully for the slave to realize that he is finally free and he gets to see his loved ones, I believe. And he he mumbled that the name name was Vinland. And I'm, I can't remember if, if Thor's mentioned that name or if the slave was just saying that as he was passing away. I'm not sure. Leif Erikson also brought up Vinland. Um, but it does take place in our own world. So there is a Greenland, there is an Iceland, there is a Norway which and and a vinland which is i'm guessing the story is going to take place during there and i believe the time period was 1000 something and the reason why thor's family and others around him and other families settled in a village was because they didn't like the way that the king of norway was oppressing his people or, or something similar to that. And there's also natives from the land that they settled in that are that are brought into the mix as well. I don't know if they're gonna reappear or be, be brought into the story or what is going to happen next. Um, so I'm really excited to get into this episode. I noticed that in the opening song that there is a time skip for Thorfinn from him being a kid that we saw in the first episode. And then we see him kind of in a teenager, tweenager, and then a young adult possibly. So I wonder if in this episode there's going to be a time skip or if he's still going to be a kid and there's going to be more context before the story really picks up. Without further ado, let's just get right into the episode. Season 1, Episode 2, Sword. Oh, right through the back. Is that the English that's attacking or the... Oh. <laughs> Snore. I'd hate that name. Snore. Foxy. Valhalla? Tokyo Avengers? I was just reading something like about Valhalla. Alright, so main character is weak right now. It <laughs> has to be one. Uh oh. Anthors is jacked. What can't he do? Oh, just kidding. Oh, that is huge! Oh, those are the people from last episode. That blonde guy with the beard and the scar on the right side of his face? Thor's, a, Thor's the troll. Ooh, that was sick. Wow. Floki. They're all listening in. Ooh, he's angry. The King of Denmark, wow. I wonder if this really did happen. Again, this makes me just want to look up and see if if this happened in real life. Uh, Denmark versus the English. Having Norway or, I guess, is he from Norway? Are the J Joms Vikings from Norway? 
Anyways, they're aiding Denmark to invade England in the spring, is what he's saying. And I wonder if this actually happened in real life. Trolls. <laughs> so he has to fight? Also, I love the... Oh, what are they called? The fang cups <laughs> that they're drinking. So they want to recruit him for the invasion. He also kind of reminds me of Vander from Arcane, like the stoic character who's changed. Mm. Oh, until today? Is that a threat, sir? You want to face Thor's the troll? <laughs> They're excited about war. Uh -oh. Okay, Thorfinn, you're going to get a lot of character development. <laughs> Ooh, those guys are huge. Ooh. Yeah, they don't know what real war looks like. He's a messenger right now, but he will turn into a soldier in any moment. The threat is on. It doesn't help that his... Soldiers are scattering around the village, too. It's Ari again. I wonder if Ari's gonna become a, a big character. Alright, so to save the village, Thors has decided to join the invasion. Yikes. He's seen it. He knows what this means. This is going to be quite an awakening for all the children. Oh, it'll be cool to see uh, Thor's in action, though, even though he's going to hate it the entire time. Ah, oh, crap. Thorfinn's a little too excited about this. <laughs> Makes me nervous. Ooh, it's like a dragon head. I want to see Leif Erikson fight to see if he, if he really is a really good fighter. He's gotten better? Ah, ooh, right in the back, like, in the beginning of the episode. <laughs> He's a doctor, too? Come on. Six years old and breaking an arm. Oh, no. I don't think Thoris wants to hear that. I'm getting nervous for Ari. So optimistic. What? Oh, he's gonna grab the real sword. He didn't see that giant chest before? He has old Viking gear. That sound felt so good on my ears. It's calling his name. Ooh, okay. Grip that hard. It's so tiny, it's a little dagger, not really a sword. Mm. Okay. Against his will, though. He's going to war against his will. Bro, you are literally six years old. You are still a kid. <laughs> what a beautiful shot. I would not want to live there, though. Been there, done that. Way too cold. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Christian monk. He has the shaved. Head right on the top. Yeah. Those guys are. S Ooh, they look so serious. So are these the? Is this Denmark that they're with? Wait, what's his name? Osglad. I'm really bad with names, so I have to write down these names, or else I'll forget them. So is this is Snur. This is Denmark. Are they Danish? What? Why? Okay, there's nothing after that. 
Okay, what? Okay, so this guy Floki wants to kill Thors, apparently. Uh, he was talking to Asklad, Asklad. I don't know if he's uh, Danish or if he's also from Norway, like Floki. I don't even know if Floki's Norwegian to be honest, but okay. So there's a vendetta against Thors, I guess, that Floki has. I don't know if it's business or if it's personal. We'll find out soon, I guess, but Again, solid episode. It seems like it's uh, starting to build up to this great journey that we're going to have with Thors, who is going to leave off to war, and Thorfinn. And I wonder if Thorfinn's going to be left behind and we get to see him grow up and also see Thor's perspective or his side of the narrative and watch him invade England with Denmark or I don't know see where this assassination leads with Asklad so it was a pretty uh slow paced episode of of Floki landing on their shores recruiting Thor's and in turn recruiting his men that he has at that village to go fight off in the war. He, Floki left him a warship and I believe the village also built another warship to go along with it. And so the men that I believe probably like teenagers and up, probably not the elderly or the sick are gonna go with Thors to help Denmark invade England. And we also saw that Thorfinn is getting better at fighting he broke a kid's arm that was several years older than him, but he, even when he is killed in this game or training, whatever it is, um, he keeps fighting and the kids are getting sick of it. And they're also getting sick of how violent he is. And Thor's kind of catches on and talks, tries to talk him out of this, this violent thing that he's going through and, um, and really, it's not just Thorfinn that's going through it. It's it's all the young boys at this village thinking that war and invasions and that kind of stuff is so noble and heroic and exciting and very... I, I mean, I don't blame them thinking that way because they are secluded on, on the shores of this little village. Anything could be exciting if it's an adventure at this point. So they're really romanticizing the aspect of war when they literally have no clue how destructive and horrible it really really is. Thor's apparently is the only one in that village that we know of that knows what a war's true nature is. He used to be he used to uh, be this great warrior and left it all behind, started a family and he said it himself he doesn't want to kill anyone anymore. He doesn't want to be killed. He has other things going in for going for his life now and he sees I mean, of course he sees his son Thorfinn romanticizing war, but I'm sure he sees the entire village as well and it just brings him down even more. But regardless, he is going to help with the invasion because, what's his name, Floki threatened that he would harm the entire village if he did not join. I am thinking that in the next episode, we are going to see Thor's leave for war, Thorfinn stay behind and become a teenager, young adult, or whatever, and we'll see where that, what those two stories, those two narratives that they're kind of forming now are going to break off. I'm really nervous for Thor's though, and what's going to happen between him, Floki, and Asclad. So we'll just have to see. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and comment down below of anything I might have missed or uh, anything you want to correct me on. I love history. I'm a big history buff. So if there's anything you can tell me that won't spoil the show for me, comment down below. Let me know. This is really cool. But yeah, other than that, um, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye.